Welcome to the channel, guys. Welcome to the hair experience. I am Curtis, your guide, your dancing guide, to get your hair back on your head for not a lot of money, no surgeries, no pills. We don't like to take pills because they make your stuff do not what it's supposed to do. That's not, that's not any good. Anyways, I am here to help you fix that problem. Um, we have multiple avenues to do this. My option is obviously our product, um, hairbyMHE.com. Use coupon code MHE20 to save 20% off of your hair. That's a ball and deal if I say so myself. Get the best quality available at the best price. Thank you, okay. And then you've got myhairexperience.com has a lot of the FAQs, information and things like that on it to help you down the road of knowledge. Knowledge is key guys, knowledge is just like anything, you can't do it without knowledge. The eBooks will teach you in chronological order everything from the mental, physical, emotional, attachments, removals, cleanup, template cutting. It will teach you everything you need to know about this. That way, you know what you're getting into. Even if you should decide not to do it, you know exactly how to do it. Today we're going to talk about that bling, that cha-ching money, okay? I've done a video on this in the past, but it's important because, you know, not everybody has extra money laying around and that's super important. I want to get down to a hair in my mouth. Just had Chinese buffet too and it was oh so tasty. I like China buffet. Um, anyways, um, cost. I want to get down to cost and I'm going to break it down for you. This isn't just going to be for hair by MHE, but I'm going to use it kind of as a rule of thumb. Some will be different than others, so I'll use ranges. Um, there are so many variables to this that it is not practical to say one static number is the amount that it will cost you. And I'll explain. I guess it's a good problem to have to have hair in your mouth, right? <laughs> if it's your hair. Anyways, um, if you go with something like a poly thin skin unit, that's probably going to last you two and a half to three months maximum, 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 maximum. Then you're going to need, every three months, you're going to need four systems a year. Anywhere from 220 to 500 bucks. So do the math on that. Our units are 240 after the discount. So that's 960 a year for that, four units. That's if you take care of your units, guys. And then you're gonna have cut-ins to do with your stylist. Those are gonna be, depending on who your stylist is, anywhere from 50 to $150. And depending on how much you have the stylist actually do for you. If you take the tools that I've given you and you actually do the installation at home, and then you go get a haircut, it shouldn't cost you more than 40 or 50 bucks to get your hair cut in, okay? Um, if they do everything for you, it's gonna be actually a lot more money than that, 150, 180 bucks. I mean, it'll be more expensive because it's their time. So, you've got that. And that's only done, really? Every time that you get a new unit. The other times, all you need if you're gonna do your fade or whatever is just your standard trim up on the bottom and you're done. Obviously, the hair on top doesn't grow, so you don't have to worry about cutting that which is nothing any different than you would have done getting a haircut before 15 20 bucks then you have your products guys your products are not that expensive overall cost let's just say the starter kit for example you get the starter kit it's anywhere from really 99 or 89 to 99 dollars and that essentially will last you about four months okay but it's not that it's totally gone in four months. It's that random things are depleted at month four. Okay, that's what my calculations are at least. Like your tape, you'll run out of tape at that point. Um, and you'll probably run out of leave-in conditioner and regular conditioner at that point. All those products are replaceable. Your total overall cost per year for product is probably going to be $150 to $180 per year for your products. So a rough, this is so rough guys. If you use a French lace unit, I never quote anything past three months on any of our units or any unit in general. I don't care where it comes from. It could come from 
the best place on the planet with the best hair unit on the planet, which I think is me, of course. I'm just being stupid now. But what I'm getting at, it could be something that a factory or a, a, a salon quotes you 10 months out of, let's say, okay? And, you've, and they're telling you 10 months. Well, they don't know the one biggest variable to this is you. It's you and it's me. We are the biggest variable when it comes to a hair system lasting, period. You're going to say, Curtis, why, why is that such a big deal? The water quality we have coming out of our shower, is it full of chlorine and fluoride? If it is, it's going to strip the hair's color super fast. Chlorine's not good on processed hair. Our pillowcase, what are we using for a pillowcase? Are we using a silk or a satin pillowcase like we should, or are we just using an old school cotton pillowcase? Are we using quality? I mean, quality shampoos and conditioners. Are we doing that? So, I mean, just, just those key components will decide if your unit lasts what it should in, in, or a third of the time that it should. Or over washing it. Guys, wash the unit twice a month or tw twice a week. That's it. Wash it twice a week. Now, you can wash your side hair. I wash my side hair every day because it gets oily. But this up top ain't ours. So, we don't have to worry about getting oily because it ain't ours. It has no way to get oils. You see my point? So if you were to wear a French lace unit, let's say, and a French lace, like I said, they don't last more than three months, but some people do get better results than that. I'm not saying that, <laughs> I'm not saying that something is static on time. So if something lasts you five months, let's say, you're only gonna need technically 2.5 units per year. So you just cut your cost substantially down, much further, less cut-ins, less maintenance, you just did a, a huge service to yourself if you're going to have an unexposed hairline. Me, I like the up pompadour thing, so I want the best hairline available. That comes from a poly, typically. So, I mean, this is Ford and Chevrolet. We, we, we kind of argue about this. You know, you get a better you know, hairline out of a lace. You get a better one out of a poly. That's not... It's, it's to each his own, guys. It's to whatever we like. I personally like poly. I enjoy it. That's just my personal preference. Um, and guys, I do pay for my own stuff. My stuff don't come free. MHE still pays for my hair. <laughs> so um, so that's, that's really the, take your units, take on an average, and you can ask whoever you buy your products from, they really should never give you a hard static answer, but the minimum expected result. They should never tell you, there ain't no unit that lasts. Um, like some of these places say they last unless it's a monofilament unit, which I just personally won't even sell because it's the most uncomfortable thing I've ever worn in my life. I just won't do it. So, but the dynamic is you guys. So cost is a variable and you're gonna say, Curtis, you didn't even really tell us anything. I'm gonna summarize and recap. Let's say you spend $250 on a unit, you're gonna need four of them a year, let's say. Okay, that's a thousand bucks, okay? You need four cut-ins a year at a hundred, let's just say a hundred bucks, okay? That's 400 bucks. I'm trying to make averages here because it's never the same if you get your hair from us or somebody else. So kind of multiply these things together from wherever you're getting your hair or your products. Four cut-ins, say 100 bucks, that's 400 bucks. So now we're at 1,400, and then let's just say 200 in supplies per year. Now you're at 1,600. So take 1,600, 1,600, and divide it by 12. You got $130 per month that it's costing you to do this. That's a pretty realistic number that I'm coming up with. Um, and that's all in, that is all of it. And a lot of times you'll go to a salon and, and people, they'll make you pay 600 or $1,000 up front and then $200 a month, let's say. And when you need your next unit, it's another $600 or $400 or $800 <coughs> and then 200 a month. So that can get super expensive. You can just think in your head and like, yeah, that's a lot of money. It's, there's no point in it, guys. This is super easy stuff. That's what I got today. I hope that makes sense. 200 for product, your cut-ins, and your actual hair itself, and the little bit of time it takes you again. It takes me about four hours, three or four hours total per month to have my hair. That's what I got today, guys. Good information. I know I've done it in the past, but I just figure people aren't going that far back in videos, and I thought it might be helpful. So that's what I got today. Subscribe below. It's super important to me, and hit that thumbs up button if you like my content. I would be grateful. And we'll see you in a couple days, guys. Hairbymhe.com. Thank you.